Alrighty, ladies and gents, welcome to another episode of The Breakdown. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the very recent match in the Arm Wars Reality Check Super Series that just took place in Birmingham of the UK just yesterday between USA's Rob Vigent Jr. and Bulgaria's Sasha Andreev. Both of these gentlemen coming from the background of world titles within their respective leagues. Of course, Rob Vigent from the USA as part of the WAL and Sasha Andreev from Bulgaria with many WAF world titles under his belt. So these guys, first time they met each other uh, at this event, never having pulled before quite the clash of styles. Rob Vigent, known for the hand control, the back pressure, the top roll. Sasha Andreev, one of the shortest, most compact elite, ath ath elite athletes within the arm wrestling world, known for his fingers, supination, and side pressure. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at the match now, see how it unfolded, and I'll break it down for you technically. And then afterwards, we will look at the significance of the result. Alright, you can see Sasha Andreev on the left of the screen, Rob Vigent on the right. The first ready go, the slip happens. Sasha Andreev, back pressure, pronation, uh, caught Rob napping, gets away into the strap fairly easily. And there is that supination side pressure signature of Sasha Andreev, isolating the bicep of Rob Vigent Jr. and the side pressure, getting the pin 1-0. Uh, round 2 coming up now, Rob Vigent looking to attempt to contain. He's, he comes forward and extends his fingers, allows Sasha Andreev to pronate and get back pressure now, attempting to flop press. Sasha Andreev stuck on the back of the pad. He can't get away without elbow fouling. Uh, he's flirting right on the edge there. Continuing the match. Rob Vigent looking to flop press once again. Sasha Andreev getting the slip there. Quite controversial. Looks like it might have been an elbow foul, but they are in the straps. Rob Vigent then put in the hook. Two surges. Pretty simple work there from Sasha Andreev. The supination too strong. The containment too strong. To, it collapses the pronation of Rob Vigent as round three gets underway with the slip once again. The pronation good enough to get the slip with the back pressure from Sasha. Now that they're in the strap, you can see Sasha holding dead center. He's taking control of the rotation, giving a moment and a nod to the crowd and Rob before putting the sword to him. 3-0. Now, once again, outside of straps, you can see the frustration from Rob Vigent there as it's back in the straps and it looks quite comfortable. The hand and wrist is fully contained by Rob. He can't drag. His pronation's collapsing. His hand is being flattened. The fundamental hand strength there of Sasha Andreev. Another level up and comfortably leaning over for the pin. 4-0. So far, round five now, Sasha Andreev outside of the straps, showing that he can force the hook, even in this scenario. The supination, the nod to the crowd, the side pressure, there it is. A nod of approval there from Rob Vigent, and it goes to 5-0 in the final round there with the hand completely gassed from Rob Vigent. You can see the back pressure, containment, the pronation, the cup, all of the fundamentals, far too good from Sasha Andreev, taking the win 6-0. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a very dominant performance from the Bulgarian champion, Sasha Andreev. Uh, honestly, Rob Vigent looked totally outgunned. He looked outclassed, he looked outgunned. We never saw Rob fire up, and I think he never fired up because he knew he wasn't in the battle. He, he got close in little moments there, I think round two, when he tried to prevent the slip from happening. That was as close as we saw success for Rob Vigent. Uh, every time the match got to the straps, it was... Very much one-way traffic. The finger containment of Sasha, just with that shorter arm, uh, it obviously felt foreign to Rob to have to be that low. Rob didn't have access to sufficient power in the rise. He didn't have access to sufficient drag. Uh, wasn't strong enough to overwhelm the back pressure fundamental and finger combination. And then from there, Sasha Andrea very comfortably supinating, getting the down pressure on breaking the pronation of Rob Vigil Jr. And then once that is broken, exposing his lack of side pressure, uh, driving over, bypassing the bicep, therefore, of, of Rob Vigil before finally adding the down pressure for the pin. Uh, as we saw the rounds go on, Sasha became more and more dominant. Uh, he ended up forcing the hook outside of straps and showing that it was at that level where he really could do whatever he wanted. And even in the sixth round, outside of straps, top rolling, controlling the hand and wrist, and breaking down the hand and wrist fundamentals entirely in his opponent, Rob Vigent Jr., to take a very decisive victory, 6-0. So what does this mean for both of these gentlemen? This is probably the most interesting part of it. Rob Vigent has always been after the opportunity to test himself against the champions from that region of the world. Um, this was the first time he's really had that opportunity, 
and to be honest, he's going to go away with his tail in between his legs. Uh, we haven't yet heard from Rob in any respect, but uh, my personal hope is that this is seen as some source of motivation for Rob, that he goes away and says, no, I'm not happy with, with that performance. I want to be more professional in the way that I approach this sport, and I want to, I want to treat it more like a science, and I want to get strong. Um, it's either that or Rob Vigent um, might take this one to heart and struggle to come back for some time. I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, Sasha and Dre have no doubt walking away from this match feeling very good about where he sits within the world rankings. He's a multiple world champion within the WAF. Um, and now having beaten the WAL's current world champion quite decisively, he would feel that he is certainly at the very pointy end of the overworld world ranks with only people like Hadzimurt Zaloyev. Uh, Rustam Babayev, uh, those sorts of names are the only sorts of names that might be ahead of Sasha Andreev on any given day at the same weight. But either way, outstanding performance from Sasha Andreev, showing an absolute masterclass in his victory over the USA's Rob Vigent. And uh, an outstanding performance all around. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you thought of the match. Where does this leave Sasha? Where does this leave Rob? And uh, where does this leave the whole East vs. West battle? It seems that 2021 has been overwhelmingly dominated by the East. Alright guys, speak soon. Yes, that's a bet!